guys welcome back to a new video so today we're gonna be just trying out a brand that I've to be honest I have never really heard of them before they contacted me and sent me a bunch of products um, these products that I'm gonna be using in this video are gifted but it's not a sponsored video and nevertheless all opinions are my own and I try to be honest as possible when I try stuff so I just thought I put a little bit a little disclaimer there but I really do enjoy doing like one brand reviews or specific product reviews so we're gonna do that today before we jump into the video I'm gonna do my post notification shout out and today's one's gonna to go to Abby Bishop so thank you so much for subscribing if you guys want to get one next time all you have to do is subscribe press the bell button and then let me know in the comments below or you can just leave a nice comment I think the biggest thing that they mention is that they are their, their mineral makeup they are cruelty free, which I am so for, vegan. So the first thing I'm gonna do, and which I always start off with first, are my brows. So I'm gonna use the Bella Pierre Cosmetics Twist Up Brow Pencil in the shade Deep Brown. So yeah, their brow pencil is 18 pounds, so literally the price of the brow is. And honestly, I've just swatched it, it's so hard. It's literally rock hard on my hand, but let's just try it on my eyes, it might be a bit different. Actually, let me just quickly trim my eyebrows. I always like trim them so I get that like really fluffy look. I kind of, I really kind of underestimated this because obviously lately I've been really liking bushy brows and I like where you can really see like in, the, in each individual hair. The shade of this is really, really nice for me um, and it's not too dark to the point where literally you can't see any brow hairs anymore. My cat's going crazy over there. But yeah, it was actually not that hard to apply. It's very soft, like it's not those, like, it's not like a pigmented creamy brow pencil but because it's so dry it just gives more of that powdered brow look effect I don't know I can't say I don't like it um would I use it again I think I would because that may I like the way that did my brows and it was so quick as well I don't think I have any brow gel so I'm just gonna pop some of my own this is just the collection one it's like three pounds it's the clear brow mascara this stuff just makes your brows look so nice so let's start off with the eyes i'm going to use this makeup base it's 13 pounds i don't know what this is for but it looks like i could use it on the eye oh it's a waterproof base for eyeshadow it doesn't really say that on the on the package but on the website it says that um can be also used for concealer but this is way too light for me with this um put it on my lid very like pinky very pinky I mean that's not my favorite product but I know so next up we're gonna use the Bella Pierre 12 color pro natural eye palette it's a very like nudey palette but here's some swatches I mean, I don't think that's bad, especially the black. Like, that black isn't too bad at all. So I'm going to take some of the shade called Chocolate Tart, and we're going to put... Ooh, that is pigmented. I'm going to put that... I'm going to do, like, a halo eye. In the inner corner, the outer corner. I wish there was like a deeper brown in here though. I'm going to take some of the shade of pudding just to kind of like soften that up a bit. I guess I'm going to take some of the black and put that on each side. Oh my goodness. I 
guess I'm not gonna do a halo eye. That is so pigmented. I'm just trying to soften that a little bit. But that is a very nice black. I'm actually so shocked with this, like, what? So this palette costs £40. I don't know how I feel about it because it's... It's literally cardboard and this weird cheap plastic on the top. Um, I can't fault the black and the brown. Like, the shades are pigmented, but I'm really not fond of the shimmers in here. Like, I'll show you guys with a brush. Use the shade Celebration. I'll even wet it. Like, there's nothing special going on here with this shade like make it worth that 40 quid i would give this palette like 20 max i'm being honest here guys but that black is beautiful oh it's so hard to find a good black the only blacks I use are from the Huda Beauty palettes, the Anastasia palettes, and now I guess this one. There's no like drugstore black that I really like, that really has stood out to me. £40 for a palette, like, no, 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 no. Alright, so next up we have the Bella 9 stack, which... It's so beautiful. Like, I have swatched some of the shades and it is so, so nice. It's got very, very pretty shades in here. A really pigmented dark black in there as well. This costs £60. Like, the shimmers, oh my goodness. We're going to, like, pop some of them on right now. But I don't know which one to go for. I think we'll go for the bronze one. It's honestly so intense. So I think I'm going to wet me brush first. I mean, that is just so stunning. <laughs> it's so beautiful. See, this is what I would like to see in the palette. If it's going to be £40, like, it should be like that straight from the, the, the shadow. Um, that is just so beautiful. Let me just swatch some of the other shades. This is one of them, which really stands out to me. This is the top shade. But I don't find the packaging that easy. Like, I feel like I would drop it everywhere. I mean, I feel like if you've got a kit, this is a good product to have. This is the black shade in there. I feel like the black in the palette is better. Let's see. This is from the palette. Yeah, the black from the palette is better. But yeah, you just have to, like, screw it on like this. And I just feel like I would end up dropping this. I mean, the only shade that's really standing out to me is the one I just used on my eye. Like, it's the more, like, intense one. Like, it's more of, like, a glitter, I don't know, metallic. Do you know what I mean? Look, out of all of them, isn't that one the one I just stood out the most? The only, like, one shade that's really standing out to me in this thing. Am I being really picky? But that's £60. Because there's only, like, shimmers in here. Like, whilst you can pay £60 for the Huda Beauty palette and you get, like, Glitters, shimmers, metallics, mattes, they're all really pretty. Do you know what I mean? That, that's how I think of it. All right, I'm just going to do the other eye and I'll be right back. So next I'm going to apply some of my SPF. This is the Melting Cream by Nux and it's SPF 50. Okay, so the next thing we have is the primer, which is £45. Um, I, I think I'm a bit shocked because, I don't know, I've never really heard of their brand and they're quite high-end, but to be honest, the packaging is quite nice with this. Uh, it's a HD makeup primer, flawless finish, uh, they've got five ingredients in there. Recyclable packaging, which is always a plus. 
Okay, so it's literally just like a clear gel. Oh my god. Okay, so literally, I've had pores that have come out of nowhere. Literally, they've just swarmed my face, like especially here. Um, so, yeah, this is more of those like silicone primers, but that has just literally smoothed my skin. For foundation today, I'm going to use my Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation in Brown Sugar. I got some of this liquid gold. It literally comes in a tube like this and I'm going to use a rose gold one. I'm just going to put some on my skin. Those two products blended really nice, like really nicely. So the next thing we're going to try is the contour and highlight duo, but it's like a shimmer highlight rather than an under eye highlight. So I'm going to have to apply some concealer, but this is in the shade Dark Deep. These are £20 each and there's two shades. So you've got the fair to medium and then you've got the dark deep one. The liquid golds are £30, but... I'm really not mad at it like that blended so nicely on my skin like so far I'm loving like that primer and that liquid glow stuff like look at my skin but it's not like too intense you know I love Huda Beauty but I've been trying her is it is it nymph body highlighter like they're really intense and it's so beautiful on the body, but I need moisturiser with it. But when I put it on my face, like, it's, like, literally metallic. I, I did a tutorial where I put it on my face and it was a huge fail. Like, I literally looked like Tin Man. Um, not that that's a bad thing. I think it would be nice for the body, but I just don't like this stuff on my face. I don't know why. It's just not... I don't know. I might try again in another tutorial, like an Instagram tutorial maybe, but... It's not, like, my favourite thing. But for the body, don't get me wrong, it smells so nice and... Yeah, if you mix it with moisturiser, it's like the best thing ever. So that's why, like, because I've tried that and I'm not really, I'm not like too keen on it. Because I've tried this one, I'm like, ooh, it's actually quite nice. So this is what the dark deep one is. Dark deep. Let's just repeat that. Dark deep. Dark deep. Even on me. Even on me. That is not showing up. That is not dark deep. Nah, who are you kidding? Who? There's not even any point in me trying this. Sorry, that's a fail. I'm putting that down. I am going to put that down. And like the, the highlight is so light. What? Like who, which dark deep person is going to wear some white ashy highlight? Just please, please. No. Nah. Let me just blend this because... I mean, there's a slight shadow there, but... Some people were saying like, oh, like the Huda Beauty one don't blend. But let me just use it again and show you guys compared to that one, right? So this one, this one is the light one, which I use every day, to be honest. Like, can you, do you know what I mean? It's not like super dark, but I really like that for every day. And it literally just blends so nicely. And these do not budge. Like once you blend in them and they've set in place, they're there. I'm just gonna apply some concealer. Right, so the next thing I have is some banana setting powder. The shade of the powder looks quite nice, but let's try some. The banana setting powder is £25, so it best be some good setting powder. And we're going to do a flash test as well. But anyways, I'm going to use the Contour and Highlight Pro Palette.
So I'm using the greyish neutral shade just to, I guess, contour a bit. Okay, so I'm just going to brush this powder off. So far, so good. It looks pretty nice. I'm just going to maybe apply some of this more reddish shade. I'm using this shade right here, which is a bit more red. I put this one first, which kind of showed up as a more of a contour. I mean, there's nothing special about this palette, to be honest. How much is this palette? How much is this palette? £39. No, thank you. I'm going to use the banana shade in here. Oh, no. Ashy galore. Ashy galore. No. That just ruined my under eye. What the hell? That is a huge fail. Sorry, not. £39 for this. We have to be real right now. This is such flimsy packaging. And I can be okay with cheap packaging as long as the product itself is quite good. But this is such a fail. And the same goes for the eyeshadow palette. Like, the packaging is so flimsy. But okay. That's alright. Let, let's see if the eyeshadows are good. The mattes aren't really good, but the shimmers are just so, like, meh. And they're, like, £40. I'm like, what? I'm just being completely honest. Completely honest right now. The next thing we have is some mineral blush in the shade Autumn Glow. Yeah, I like the blush. The blush is nice. It's really the shade that's really like, I don't know, for my skin tone, it's like the perfect shade for me. So the mineral blush is £20. Do I see myself using this? I think I do actually. Like, this is really nice, like the shade of it. Just to finish the skin, I think I'm going to take another shade of the liquid gold. I might take the white gold. I'm just going to blend some of chocolate tart again under my eyes. I'm then going to use some of this Buxom Brown eyeliner. And then finally for lips we have this matte lipstick in incognito doesn't suit this look at all it's a very pinky nude so it, the formula of this is really nice i guess we're going to go for a bright shade Alright guys, this is the finished look. I'm not too sure about this lip colour, but we'll just go with it, I guess. But, to be honest, I'm not mad, like, the eyes are so nice. I love the pigment. But this is, it was the only shade I liked in that stack, and that stack being £60 is way overpriced to me. I just feel like a lot of these products are a bit overpriced. Even the blush, like, I, f I like the blush, but I feel like it could have been, like, at least, like, £15. I don't, I don't know why. It's got SPF 15, I don't know. But yeah, it's a bit overpriced for me. The primer, I can't fault. Like, it really is nice. Like, it made my skin so soft. Like, I wear the Huda Beauty foundation a lot. But it's wearing so nicely with this foundation. So the primer is definitely a plus for me. Like, I really like it and I feel like I would use it again. Uh, the banana powder was surprisingly really nice as well. I like the brow pencil. I would buy the buy pen the brow pencil. I, like, I thought it was like really rough at first, but you just need to like warm it up a bit. And yeah, it gives that really natural brow look, and I'm just all for that lately. Now the eyeshadow palette, like the matte shades are so nice. 
But their shimmers, like I feel like they really need to work on their shimmers for that palette to be around £40. So yeah, it's just a no for me because even though the black is amazing, that palette alone is not worth that much. Do you know what I mean? Um, the contour palette was a fail. The contour stick was a fail. That is definitely not dark deep. Um... The formula blended nicely, but the shade is just so off. Uh, what else did we try? The lipstick. The lipstick is very patchy. And it's sinking into my lip lines, which I really don't like. Let's see how much that lipstick is. £20. No, thank you no thank you but yeah and what i really did like was those liquid golds they are so nice definitely recommend those i definitely had fun trying all these products it definitely gave like an overall really nice result but i think again it's a bit too overpriced for some things like the stack if there's the little pigment i feel like the pigment i would pay like 20 pounds for it's that good but for that shade only um but the whole stack like i wouldn't pay 60 pounds for Here's a close-up of my skin. It just looks so soft. You guys don't even know, like, when I went and did that uh, Worst Makeup Artist video, my skin got butchered. Like, the, for the following two weeks after that video, my skin was so bad. I was getting these weird hives. It was so dry, it was cracking around my lips. I had these weird spots around my lips. Um, I had like spots all over here. It was so irritated and bumpy. Like it's actually getting to my its own self now, but that I'd, like that video was definitely a risk. I don't even realize how much of a risk it is when you go to these places and they put all these disgusting old crap on your face and yeah I don't react to anything my skin's quite strong so when not my face reacted to that I was like oh my god it's actually disgusting what she put on my face oh you my little bobbies anyways I'm gonna stop rambling guys I'm definitely living for the eye look the skin is looking really good um my overall like opinions like some of the stuff from Bella Pierre can be really good um but then sometimes some of them are okay-ish, but they're not worth the price. Um, so that's my opinion on it. They've got some good products, to be honest. And I really can support the fact that they are cruelty-free, vegan, they use recyclable packaging. So a big thumbs up for that. So yeah, those are my thoughts on their brand and some of their products. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and then I'll I feel like I've forgotten how to do my outros. Um, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.